There are many definitions for the word renegade. One of them is abandons tradition and conventional behavior. And there's a new theater company in town called Renegade Players. Judging from their debut production on the word bold, maybe the word bold should be in there somewhere. Could be any number of things. Renegade Players debut production is the play that goes wrong. This play is challenging. It's a play within a play. So I've got actors playing actors who are doing a play. So you got to keep that straight. It's a British farce. So it's a combination of Noises Off and Monty Python and Saturday Night Live. The Garden at six, the only other member of the staff is Perk. And the cast is filled with many of the Rocket City's best actors. I needed that. This is very physical and you need to be able to do all the physical things. And I read the script and I'm like, yeah, no problem. That'll be easy. It'll be fun. We've had a couple of straight rehearsals of just throwing ourselves this way and throwing ourselves that way and, you know, all safely. They debut August 16th at the VBC. This may be their first production as a company, but this is not a bunch of rookies. So when I see a new group come in, I always like to see who's involved. And when I saw the people involved in this, I was like, I'm on board. Every time I come out here, I know that there's someone right beside me working twice as hard as I am and they're twice as talented, and it makes me so happy. <laughs> then who could have killed him? Good question, Mr. Collymore. The talent pool of Huntsville Theater is deep. Renegade Players gives them another outlet to walk the boards and show their skill. But there's a difference here from most Huntsville and North Alabama theater companies. I want this to be a professional theater company, and that means the artists get paid. Can't pay them a lot right now, but I think their art is fantastic and volunteer art is fantastic. But the work that's done to create art is work, and people should be compensated for that. So back to the play. Then who could have killed him? The play that goes wrong is a formidable challenge for anyone. In keeping with the renegade theme of go big or go home, fearless approach to a debut, it comes with some stress. I think I've I fell and bumped my head, maybe. <laughs> um, I wanted to come out of the gates with something that was very challenging, very mem memorable for sure, and that's something that's uh, n not everybody really wanted to tackle. Um, and in all seriousness, this thing is a beast. Technically, from a safety perspective, as well as a performance and timing perspective. Then who could have killed him? Buckle up. Renegade Theater, ready to rock your theater seat. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's funny. <laughs> you can see the play that goes wrong on August 16th through the 18th and August 23rd through the 25th. I think we got a laugh from Jessica over there. It's at the VBC Playhouse. And from what we saw at the rehearsal, it is crazy funny. Okay, so some items on the calendar we want to tell you about. Uh, some good ones here. August 13th, that's next Tuesday, I believe. Slash is at Orion. August 16th and 17th, this is really cool. The Rocket City Playwright Series at Low Mill. August 26th, the conversation with Jason Isbell, Brittany Howard at the VBC Concert Hall. And September 13th, hey, all you Taylor Swift fans, Era's Sing Along and Dance Party, that is at the Prince's Theater.